Alright guys, Ben and Joe, aka Casper, and stopping here from Codename Pizza, and welcome to a quick breakdown of things that you may not have noticed in the new Berry trailer. So guys, literally the first frame of footage on this video has something to offer. Over the left hand side you'll notice there is a mystery box location with a teddy bear on top, and over the right hand side we actually notice that this is a bank. So maybe this functions as like the bank in transit, or maybe it's just a prop, but I'm going to say that it is actually an accessible bank like in transit. Now other things you might need to notice is up the top, it seems like the cave is kind of caving in and rubble falling from the ceiling. Now this could be one of two things, it could just be set in the scene or it could be part of like an easter egg where we have to like collapse the cave uh, altogether but i was also thinking remember back in kino de toten the roof used to cave in when nova six zombies came in is there a possibility that nova six are coming back maybe it might be a nice surprise if they do do it obviously because they've not put it in the trailer but we'll have to wait and see the next thing I want to focus on, guys, is probably the main talking point of this whole trailer. It's the little girl that's in the window of the mansion, and then she flies down. So we're going to focus on this part of the footage right here. Now, many people are going to be saying this is Samantha Maxis, because it does resemble her, and it looks quite a lot like her. I'm going to say it's definitely not her, just because I think they wouldn't bring her back just for this little purpose of flying down and being kind of like a boss. She has a lot more in the storyline than this, and I think she'll make an appearance in the fourth map pack. Maybe not even giving away the name of this character in the third map pack, and you still believe it is her up until when you finally see her in map pack four. Another thing that we can actually notice on this mansion is underneath, there is a war weapon. It's a little bit too small to actually figure out what it is, but this does mean that there is access to the front of this building, and maybe we can actually get inside. Now, the windows up above don't look like they're accessible, but maybe we can get on the ground floor, and maybe up to the window that the girl's actually standing in. Okay guys, so the next thing that I want to point out is that Russman is now fighting off this ghost. Now we notice that the bullets that are coming out of his gun are pinky purpley, reddy kind of colour. So we know that this gun is Pack-A-Punch, so it's 100% return of the Pack-A-Punch. Not that they're going to take it out for any reason, because they know that people will be extremely annoyed with that. But, just to say that it's definitely, definitely in there guys. So guys, if you notice the zombie on the left hand side is actually carrying a bag. Now this actually might be something important that you might have to collect by using this new perk on the map. Now as soon as I saw that new perk in the trailer last week, I thought that it looked very much like the scavenger perk off multiplayer. Now this could be exactly what it does. You buy it and you can pick up these items off the zombies to like either help build something on a crafting table, put towards the easter egg, they might even have sweets in to give to the big boss zombie to help him out, or it could just be something as simple as ammo. Okay, so as you can see, we've now got Juggernaut there. That's a clear sign that it's coming back. Not that we had any doubts that it wasn't going to come back in a real game. Like, they didn't put it in Mob of the Dead Grief mode. But that was probably to make the game mode a little bit more exciting. And you had to, you kind of, like, use your brain and how you're going to work the game out a little bit more. But this is obviously, it's going to be in the full length game. Because people are going to get to high rounds and stuff like that. So it is there, guys. So don't worry. Something else you might notice here is that Misty is actually carrying the Raygun Mark II. Now, the next scene that you'll see in a second, Martin's actually holding it. So, does this mean there's more than one Raygun Mark II in the box? Perhaps. So over on the back on the left hand side guys, we actually notice a crafting table there. Now it's got something extremely big on it, it kind of looks like the size of like the jet gun on transit. So it's obviously a large object, possibly a gun, it's kind of a gun shape. So we'll have to wait and see what that is guys, but it looks pretty interesting. Okay, so now we can see this kind of like cage prison cell kind of thing where the monster or the boss zombie, whoever you want to call him, is running out of. Now over the back of him, you actually see uh, Samuel and he's also carrying a Raygun Mark II. So this must be a sign of multiple Raygun Mark IIs on the map. Obviously we've seen another two characters there already and now we see Samuel with one. So maybe this is an easter egg step where we all have to have the Raygun Mark II. Maybe it's a way of controlling this boss zombie kind of guy. So over on the right hand side there, you'll actually notice some empty bottles. Now maybe these are perk bottles that we have to give to this guy. So he turns into like some kind of super zombie that protects us in some way. Now maybe that's what the bag was for in the last scene with the zombies. You actually have to gain that bag somehow and collect these bottles in it to give to this zombie guy. Okay, so for about one or two frames, one of these empty perk bottles actually lights up at the top. Now, maybe this is suggesting which perk this boss zombie is actually low on, that we have to actually go and get him some more. That's the indication that he's desperate to have some more of this perk. 
Okay guys, so this is one of my favourite scenes of the whole trailer. Now over the left hand side of the desk, you'll actually notice there's a bell on there. Now maybe this is some kind of way how to attract one of the zombies to actually get off one of your friends who's being eaten or being attacked. Now over the right hand side, you'll notice there's a star that's surrounding this like a circle. Maybe this is like the skulls on Mob of the Dead that you have to collect them. Uh, and then you've got the blunder gap. Maybe you do the same with this, collect five stars and you actually end up getting something else. Now over the back, you'll notice the clock is no longer set to 115 like in other zombies map is now set to around 43 minutes past one now that's actually normally the second hand on Doris, which is set to the time loop if you need any more information on that i'll leave a little video link in the description but it's nice to see that the clocks have now changed now we broke the cycle in mob of the dead now also we notice pictures on the back wall e either side of the clock now they're hard to work out but i'm sure they have something to do with the storyline so keep that in mind guys Okay guys, so now we get a very up close and personal shot of this denim overall wearing zombie, this boss kind of zombie. We actually notice there's tattoos on his hands. Now his right hand side, which you see on your left hand side, says S-U-G-F. His right hand side says S-H-D-T. Now this is clearly something to do with the Easter egg, just like in Mob of the Dead. You had the numbers on the inmates uh, sides that you had to type in to that system. Now this is clearly something along the same lines here, so keep that in mind guys when you're playing the game okay so we've actually got to feed this denim wearing zombie uh sweets and we see when he's actually eating this week you see bits coming off him them orangey green bits now maybe this is certain perma perks that you can actually gain off giving him these sweets obviously when you give him the sweets he's going to do tasks for you like protect you work against the zombies but maybe he actually gives off some kind of perma perk as well so now you notice this denim wearing zombie actually gets taken out by the other zombies. So he served his purpose, he protected you for giving him the sweets, and now he's being put to the ground by those zombies. So I imagine now you have to kill the other zombies, you then have to go and get certain perks, certain items even, and then go and give them back to him to revive him kind of, and bring him back to life to protect you again. So guys, that's your breakdown of the Buried trailer. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and leave the comment in the section below of any topic that you want us to reply to. Subscribe to be the latest member of the Pizza Club. And obviously guys, the map pack gets released first on Xbox Live on the 2nd of July. We're going to be covering all the little Easter eggs, all the little hidden stuff, how to build things, tutorials and stuff like that on the day. So make sure you stay subscribed for that and we will see you in the next video guys. Thank you for watching and peace out.